Hi guys and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be the first part of a series of videos which is going to focus on how sheepdogs are trained, how the bond between sheepdog and handler is formed and a look at some of the instincts that are going on as well. This video in particular will focus on um, some of the basic principles we need to understand about dog training and also how we would start a puppy off at the very beginning stages of training. So guys, let's get into the video. Guys, before we get into these this series, I wanted to make a couple of things clear. First, I do not consider myself a professional dog trainer. I don't train dogs for other people. I don't train dogs for money. All of the stuff that information that I'll be passing across will be purely based on my own experiences and how I have interpreted certain things. No way is this a full instructional series on how to train your dog exactly. It's more gonna be about ideas and trying to give people a new understanding about the way their dogs think brings me on to my second reason for making this series. When I started out, I was very lucky and I had a very good mentor. However, at that time I did do a lot of research and it was very hard to find videos like this. Uh, quite a lot of things, you'd get a snippet of something and then it would ask you to pay for a DVD or something like that. So this series is really for anyone interested in training and how these dogs work anybody who is currently training at a, or has started training is struggling uh, it may give you some new ideas or some new perspectives but as well for people at home with pets with working breeds this can give you some insight to why your dog may do certain things Come on. So the first part of this video and what we're going to look at is two basic principles of dog training or this type of dog training that we're going to have to understand before we start training. What a lot of people do is they teach a dog to lie down and they do it well for a couple of weeks and then they forget about it and five months later they say to the dog lie down and the dog doesn't do it. That's because when we are training a dog and we want it to do that at a high level, we have to be training that constantly. Even three years in, you're still looking at that lie down command. You're watching for bad habits coming in. You're constantly training the same commands for the same outcome. That is how dog training works. The same command, the same outcome every time. And you have, to, if you want that to continue, you have to be constantly training that. There is no quick fixes, there is no shortcuts. You will get out of your dog the time you put into it. If you're not willing to spend the time, don't bother starting to train it uh, to do something like this because it's not gonna work out. You have to put in time with your dog to make this work. And the second principle that we are going to look at today, Herdon is basically uh, based up of three main principles, training, instincts, and will to work. A dog needs all three. And two of those have got to come from the dog. The training we put into it, but the will to work and the instincts have to be there from the beginning. First off, the will to work. This is uh, the dogs want to go out and work sheep. If you have a dog that is not interested, uh, doesn't have the will to work, it's not worth training. Cut your losses and try another dog. So this is how it kind of works. So the activity of herd and sheep is rewarding to the dog. So the dog actively wants to go to work. Okay, so that is the will to work. It actively wants to go out and work. This is why we don't need physical rewards because it is rewarding in itself. So because the dog wants to work, it gets access to work through us. So this is gonna be something uh, that builds the foundation of our working relationship. 
I do like to give my dogs a bit of affection, but really I give that because that's what I like to do, right? They wouldn't really need that because of this will to work. They want to work because they want to work. They are not forced to work. They are not conditioned to work. They don't go out and work for a reward. And they don't go out to work from praise from me. They go out to work because that's what they want to do. Where I come in is they understand that I am the link that provides that work for them. We have the instincts. The dog has to have the right instincts. You can have a dog that has the will to work, but it doesn't have the instincts. And some of them will do something, but uh, generally they're not gonna be uh, as good as a dog that has the right instincts. And quite a lot of the time, a dog that doesn't have the instincts, even if it does have the will to work, it's not worth training. And I'm going to do a video which will explain this in a lot more detail, but uh, I'm a bit behind. But uh, recently, Archery has been failed out of working dog school, and this is because of uh, him having the wrong instincts, even though he has the will to work. But like I say, I'm going to make that it's all its own video uh, to help you understand that. And this might seem a bit harsh, but the honest truth of it is, if a dog doesn't have the will to work and the instincts in the beginning, it's probably not going to be a good sheepdog and it's probably not worth training. At the end of the day, if the dog doesn't have the will to work or the instincts, it's not going to find it uh, as rewarding. It's maybe not even going to find it an enjoyable experience. So when you're looking for a sheepdog, you're really looking for a dog that has these things because the dog, th that dog that has the will to work, has the instincts, that's the one that's going to really love it the most. And again, a lot of the time, you won't know if it does or if it doesn't till you start training and it sees sheep and builds up the confidence to see what it's going to do with them. Now guys, we move on to the second part of this video. This is basically how we start off um, our working dogs with a bit of obedience as puppies. Basically start off um, building up our most important two commands in herding and that is lie down and that'll do. First let's understand why these two um, commands are the most important and this translates to pets as well. So the lie down command is your stop command. If you can stop your dog in any situation, that can give you time to think about what to do next. If you don't have a stop command, things can get very chaotic very quickly. And then we get the other command, which is our that'll do command. Now that is our recall command. Now, if you can't recall your dog in any situation, then you haven't got control of your dog. Recall is super important because we can pull dogs off sheep. Um, Obviously, when herding finishes, the dogs have to stop. Uh, but other than that, if a situation develops, if you see a situation that might be dangerous for the dog, if you see a situation where the dog is going to get the sheep into trouble, your recall command is pretty much your most important. This training basically starts uh, at about eight weeks old. Just standard obedience training, the same way you teach a dog to sit. But the thing is, you've got to keep training it, keep doing these repetitions. And remember, when a puppy's small, it has a small attention span. A couple of minutes at the most is more than enough. We just keep repeating and we keep doing it till it gets to the point where the dog reacts instantly and it reacts reliably every time. When we see that happen, we slowly uh, add in distractions or things that are going to stimulate the dog. So maybe around other dogs in the garden, other places, and we get it to a point, a good point there as well. We start doing it out and around livestock on a long lead. And again, we just keep going till we get it at a good level. And bear in mind, this is all we are teaching at this point is those two commands. We get to a good level on the long lead where we pretty much don't have to hold it anymore. Uh, the dog does it first time every time. Then the dog is ready to be off lead around livestock 
and that is when we're going to start our proper training. Guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, this video has just been basically an intro and getting into it. In the next video, we're going to begin with training the sort of directional commands and we're also going to talk a lot about forming a bond with a young working dog or a new working dog. As well as that, uh, this uh, sort of series uh, it'll be a little bit broken there'll probably be videos in between as i mentioned i'm doing one that's pretty, pretty much just a catch up at home uh, what's happening with monty's medical issues what's happening with archie things like that so uh, i'll probably do a video like that and a couple of other types of videos and the, so the uh, series will just develop sort of periodically guys enjoyed the first installment of this series um, I know this one probably isn't going to be the most interesting because it's pretty much just laying down a baseline get okay, guys if you did like the video please get hit that like button if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing <laughs> and leave a comment uh, if you want to so cheers guys and I'll see you in the next one